Hey, what's up guys? Man, back to being cold. We had a couple of days of good weather while the boys were here and now that I'm by myself, back to being cold. But anyhow, let's get a look around here. Let's get a look around here. We got X and uh, we'll be getting the interior out of that, getting it cleaned up. Um, and it's just sitting here waiting for the title before I go any further. We've got Fiona. She's kicked over. Got the gangster lane going on. I got the uh, air system figured out. I got to get some more fittings. And then the air system will be good. We got Dolores. I've been too lazy to go out in the woods and get that radiator. We got Candy Cane. She's good to go. We got Whitney. Whitney runs and drives. She needs a first bath. And if the weather's good tomorrow, she might just get that first bath, clean up that tank, clean up those front wheels and make it all sparkle buggy. She needs a complete electrical system and then uh, get that cab working. Marla here needs a transmission. We're working on it. Franny, Franny needs some attention. I got to put a new top plate on the transmission and uh, start working wiring. Has no charging system, stuff like that. So we'll have to get that figured out. Tricia. Poor Trisha, she needs paint so bad. 13, uh, front springs, pins, shocks, gearbox, pitman arm. 12, uh, slack adjusters, front brakes, front skins, and polish on the wheels. Crystal needs me to get off my lazy butt. But anyways, there's the girls, and of course, you know, inside the shop over there. Got old Black Betty, blam a lamb. She's coming along slowly. Uh, otherwise, it's just a dreary day. It's winding down before I have to go back to work. So I'm just trying to get some things buttoned up. This uh, rear diff, the oil in this thing is really bad. Uh, so we're gonna give her a drain and refill. We'll check the front one, we'll check the trans as well. Uh, but uh, just gonna do a few little things today. Get this rear diff drained and filled. I got a new light bar I want to try and inside and see if the blinkers work, see if I was right on that. And uh, anyway, it's just some hodgepodge, but I'll film everything all day and we'll make a video out of it. And uh, let's get after it, huh? All of my track mats are extremely greasy, so we need to get a uh, Next time we get the hot tea out, we're gonna get after cleaning these track mats. Or just buy some new ones. Not that much money. I need a new drain pan. This thing is uh, kind of a piece of crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also need to get my shoulder worked on. I got a got a tendon ripped off, and my shoulder, both shoulders, are in bad shape. My right one's the worst, so we'll probably go ahead and get that. Get that right one hammered out first and you get a little bit of a little bit of uh, metal in there but it's not horrible uh, you know this rear diff is I think factory I think both of these are factory and uh, this truck doesn't have that many miles on it uh, there's a couple of different couple different thoughts behind it I think it's got what's on the odometer and a couple other people have thought no maybe not but you know these diffs are just in good shape they're not rusty this truck is a southern truck you can tell and uh yeah it's really not bad at all and you know we're gonna we're gonna fix it up put we got already got the back brakes done shocks uh, 
uh, wheel seals. We're gonna put all new slack adjusters on. Put in those, uh, put in those torque arms and bushings, and uh, maybe some suspension bushings. I'm not even sure how those work, uh, but we'll put in some suspension bushings, get a four wheel alignment, put some new wheels and tires on it, and uh, you know, fix up this turn signal and then this baby be ready to go to work. We're going to let that drip out for an extended period of time. Up inside here, let's get a couple of tools. We're going to take the speedometer and odometer off. This thing's showing uh, 400,000, 365,000 miles. I think it's original. Uh, a couple of guys were like, oh, I think it's 1.3 million. I don't know, man. The motor is really clean. Um, but it does have a transmission and a change transmission so yeah i wouldn't think that would happen in 300,000 miles uh but anyway seat doesn't look too wore out the rubber on the pedals don't look too wore out the uh clutch pedal is a little polished so it could be 1.3 uh, i'm not saying i'm right i'm just saying it's an opinion if if it really does have 1.3 million miles on it then this truck has been very well taken care of but anyhow we're just taking some screws out of the uh of the speedometer and odometer we're gonna work that out of there Got some dip switches on here. I think that's probably to calibrate, but I don't know. We'll uh, we'll worry about that another day. Let's get some torques in here. All right. What I'm going to do is on these. FLDs and not a lot of other electric trucks um, This light bar isn't only lights. It supposedly um, Has some logic and I have one I have one of these boards And uh, You can see there's a circuitry in there and uh, I think I think that's why the turn signals don't work I think either this whole unit has a bad ground or or something. I can see it's been out because um, it's got some Permatex that was holding this thing on. We have to uh, get a little washer in there. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it's just got tabs. You squeeze them down and and uh, I guess I didn't have to take that bar off. Let's see. Let me look. Okay, we just need a little pin to push those down. I don't think I have one. I don't think I have anything in here that I can do it with. Let me grab a quick little pocket screwdriver. All right, so oh, that's interesting. Axle lock. Oh, these are in different spots. Dang it. There's no water level light in this one. Which I think I think somebody just took it out. 
I think it does go in there. We'll look at that. We'll get this, uh, we'll try this thing. Yep, look at that. Turn signal works just as it should. So I was 100% correct. What also we're going to do is we're going to we're going to try and see about getting this uh, water level light out. We'll have to look and see what it takes. It kind of looks like it just plugs in there. Um, but I don't know, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Uh, I'm glad the turn signals work and it'll probably have the low air warning buzzer will probably work um, as well so I'm gonna I'm just gonna play with this uh, I'm just gonna play with this a little bit and see what it takes to get the light out because I'll need to, I want that water level light to be in play uh, I'm just not sure how it works Looks like it just unplugs out of there. That might be taking the whole circuit board out. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it comes out. It'll be interesting. I, I do want to take it apart. Um, looks like that circuit board just comes right out of that. Comes out of that whole thing. there was a company that was rebuilding these things that would be super cool and let's see it looks like this light this package of lights comes off of there but it also looks like it might screw on yeah I don't know if that's a rivet or a screw but it's definitely holding it to that board And then something just jumped out of here. Anyway, so turn signal works good. Uh, that's pretty awesome. The uh, tack and speedometer, I think, are okay in this truck. Uh, we'll know more once I get the uh, cable and I can hook up the uh, Detroit Diesel Logic. Man, I really would like to put that in there. It looks like, it looks like, it looks like all I have to do is take the screws out, take that light panel out. This outer part comes off, stick the, the water level light in and then push it back in. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back in the dash. Uh, I can take it back out later um, if I have to. This little uh, cover, um, it looks like the, the screws break off it pretty easy. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put the one back in. I'm gonna try and source one of those. Um, I think might be some out at the spot. Yeah, that one needs that one needs a little something. We might could use a uh, a fiber washer. I think I'll get a fiber washer for that, and we'll put this back in. I'm gonna use some black paper instead of white paper. 
but that'll hold that still for now. All right, these uh, this is some kind of connector. Um, but we'll just get these. Just get these instruments plugged in. Get them down in there. some new wood grain vinyl wrap and uh, I think we go down here yeah we'll get some new wood grain vinyl wrap and rewrap these things um, but that's later right now it's just now I can uh, actually since I have these lights all working I can uh, actually put these panels all back on I think I oh no I need the door lock the door catch uh, the over travel lock door catch whatever you want to call it I need one and uh, then I could put the stash back together but in the meantime I could put the I can put the, the fuse panel cover on I'll go and wash that up and get it put on and that'd be nice Good looking drop deck flatbed. Ball. All right. So this cover goes in there like so. And uh, Zeus fastens up in there like so. Good stuff. And this panel over here, we're gonna get some of the short screws, and we'll just uh, we'll put them in. Just grab a bunch of these. And move you over so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Since this heater blower thing works. Um, I wish somebody would start remaking these old uh, molded pieces. You know, there's a lot of FLDs out there. You know, people are freaking out, thinking that the government's gonna make everybody get rid of these old diesel burners and go electric or something. I mean, I guess it could happen, but I don't see it happening anytime in the next 20 years. I mean, well, there's some crap in there for sure. Good thing I, uh, I think I decided to get after it today. Definitely had water in it. We have to, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to change the the uh, air vent. We'll probably do it on both of them. I have them in stock. Um, I might. I might drain out a little bit more, pump some in and let it drag out some crap. Be right back.
carry that crap out of there. This is the best bucket pump I got. Uh, I bought some more from TSC, but they're just not that good. But we'll pump this whole thing. What we'll do is we'll pump it until it comes out, so it's coming out the fill hole. Once it starts running out of the fill hole, we'll put the plug back in. And then that should get me some oil out to those hubs. We gotta get uh, slack adjusters before we can drive this. So, I think it should ride pretty good with new shocks all the way around. I'd really like to change those airbags to the better ones. And I'll do that probably the first time uh, the truck comes in from the road for a service. I'll have the bags in stock and we'll just knock them out while it's in here. I gotta create a, a uh, I didn't get this tent down, but I gotta create a uh, bracket. I'll, I'll probably, once I get this full, I'll, uh, take the tent down, put it up, and I'll measure for the bracket for the exhaust and I'll just make that right quick. And uh, we'll get rid of that oil, we'll put that in the barrel. I see the oil is to the proper level. Go, go, go. All right. All right. All right. One other thing I want to do is I'm going to take this plug. This is a breather. I'm going to take this out and uh, replace it because ah, chances are this uh, this thing blew seals because the thing built up pressure and uh, because these vents were plugged and since I have new ones I'm going to change them yeah, that thing's completely rusted shut. You know, these things aren't very expensive. It's a neat little kit. It's got a little hose, little... little guide down there, a little check valve. We'll do both axles. Uh, we're gonna get another bucket of fluid and change that front one. Okay. And then we'll put this on. Put this clamp on. I don't think I do it with my fingers. Yeah, I did though. 
Okay, there you go. Filled in, properly vented. We'll do the front one too, since we're since we have them in stock. Number, they're dormant, 9245213 Charlie Delta. Um, they're not that expensive. And they replace these old these old ones that I don't think do much anymore. All right, this one looks like it was actually working, but I don't like that style anyway. And you know, for 12 bucks or whatever this costs, it's, uh, it's worth changing. We're gonna get all new slack adjusters and uh, this truck will be in ready to roll condition. Now uh, we do have to do the front brakes and probably uh, just check the springs and the kingpins and stuff. I think the suspension on this truck's in pretty good shape. It probably could use new bushings, these front springs, and uh, I'm going to get a price to get them changed because the heavy that heavy stuff I, I i don't i want to do it um i mean i don't want to pay somebody else 100 bucks an hour to do it but i just don't have the tools to do these heavy bushings and you know sucks to hurt yourself and then miss work miss the paying job but anyways that's done what do you think guys all right let me grab some paperwork and uh We'll go over some prices. All right, guys, so let's see. We'll go over just a few things. Uh, I couldn't find the receipt for the oil today. So, just for uh, Kick something to call it sixty dollars. It's more than sixty, probably, but let's call it sixty bucks. But uh, so we did airbags. Uh, airbags were two seventy nine, and that's cheap. But they're cheap airbags that are going to last a year, maybe. So two seventy nine. Um, we did shocks, sixty five dollars a piece, times four. $274.99 with tax. Uh, we did drums. Um, so with the drums, we did two different style drums because they didn't have four in stock of what I wanted. So we did uh, two cheap drums and two mid-level drums. And so that was uh, $326 and 16 cents for the pair of the cheap drums and $563 and 20 cents uh, for a pair of the mid-level drums. So uh, then we did four 4311 green uh, brake shoe kits at 79.37 each uh, for a total of uh, 317.48. And we did um, four uh, new wheel seals at $51.14 each. And uh, we did two uh, S-CAM kits. I had two in stock. We, got, we bought two more, a uh, total of uh, $27. And so just the brakes and shocks were uh, $14.99.94. 
plus 300 bucks, so that's 1500 plus 300 bucks for the bags. 1800, uh, 60 bucks for the oil. 1860, let's call those uh, 25 bucks. So it's 1885. Yeah, 1885 dollars to do brakes on the back of a truck, and that's using some cheap stuff. Like the drums were cheap, the two drums are cheap. Um, so that saved a couple hundred bucks there. Um, I bought the Gabriel Fleetline shocks. Those are the step down from the Monroe's. So there would have been another 12 bucks a piece for the Monroe's. Um, we did an oil change on this truck. Uh, you'll see that video as well. We bought the oil at Walmart. You can't beat Walmart's oil price. I, no matter what I, who I call, I can't beat their price. Even if I buy 55 gallon drums from uh, O'Reilly on my, with my corporate discount, I can't beat Walmart's prices. I paid 16.78 a gallon before tax. Um, 10 gallons of oil. Nope. That sixteen dollars a gallon, sixteen eighty-seven a gallon was for uh, Betty. Betty got new oil as well, breaking oil. This was eighteen twenty-two a gallon. Uh, so let's just call it for ease two hundred bucks for oil. And uh, filters were because this has two oil filters. I also put fuel filters on this truck this week. So oil filters, uh, two 51792 oil filters. That's not the right number. Uh, anyway, 30 bucks a piece for the filters, so that's 60 bucks. So it's that uh, 60 bucks. And uh, so 18, nine, that's 2,000. That's, let's say 2,100 so far. Um, and the uh, fuel filters are about $35 a piece. So almost 2,200. Um, okay, that's it for 12 this week. Let's talk about, let's not even talk about the motor. Let's just talk about stuff I bought uh, for Betty this week, um, the oil, 16, 1658 or 1678 a gallon times 10, so 165 bucks, let's say, 170 bucks for oil. Um, oh, that's that 51792 filter, so 30 bucks for that filter. Um, belts, I bought four belts. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Um, two Gator uh, TR22607 belts, uh, 67 bucks, and two Gator TR22588 belts, 62 bucks. There's $138.95 for belts. I bought a $100 uh, kit for the studs, nuts, and spacers for the exhaust manifold. That was like $99. $33 gasket for the water neck, which was wrong. So I just bought a new one for 19 bucks last night on Amazon or uh, um, eBay. Um, oh, I put two steer tires on, I bought two wheels from Chad, 100 bucks a piece. And uh, I, and Don polished them for free. And I, I put two new tires uh, on the steers of 13 this week and that cost uh, 1069 that's for two uh, 11 r 22.5 Falcon uh, RI-150 Ecos, 16 plies. Um, what else did I do this week? We won't even talk about uh, fuel and all that other crap that we brought out to bring uh, Whitney home. Um, I spent $303 on shifter cables for Marla. Chad and, and uh, Garrett did that job for free. So it, it took them about three hours probably to do that. 
Um, I had a guy send me the, in this video you see where I got the uh, blinkers fixed. Now I had a bunch of comments and suggestions. Um, I'd already done the research, I already knew that uh, everything I did uh, verified in my mind that the light bar, there's no fla there's no flasher. It wasn't the fact that the truck has LED lights. I know that when you put LED lights on a truck that has a standard flasher, it changes the load and you have to use a different flasher. I get that. Um, but I, I had already researched and read and read and researched and decided that the uh, light bar that's above the instruments and the dash was bad and that's why the blinkers didn't work. And I had a guy um, who just gave me the parts and that that light bar is very expensive if you try and buy one online if you go out and look you'll see how much they are and a guy uh, uh, a viewer of the channel said hey man i'll just send you one i got a truck i'm scrapping out he's also going to give me uh some tanks and some steps and some uh quarter fenders for fld so i can get i can take the fairings and stuff off of 13 probably be when i get home um and he gave me that and it fixed the turn signals. So the turn signals are good. I still need to replace these lights. 